Okay, there's a patrol up that way. Give himself away with his weapon light. Alright, uh, so what's down here? There's a building. Okay. Feels like I might have to move in to get a better look, though. Guy's still on the hill out there. Just patrolling around. Is there anybody down here, though? Yep, there. There's one. Is it just the one, though? It's gotta be somebody else, maybe on this hill closer to me, that I can't see for all the bushes. That guy being out there on his own kind of worries me, though. Surely there's gotta be more than just the one guy with the weapon light. But it's too foggy, the only thing I can actually see of him over there is the weapon light right now. Oh, that's a gut, he's illuminating. Alright. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else patrolling around the back here. It's just the one that's currently behind the building right now. There. Does my bipod help here? No, no it doesn't. Okay. He's down. Nobody seems to have noticed. Okay, let's move in on this building. Yeah, that guy's just patrolling like normal up there. Can't see anybody else up and around the hills. Is that a second person I see up there? Oh no, he's just illuminating a goat again. I don't know why there's so many of those things. Oh, is this the opportunity to upload the virus? Upload virus to network. Uh, no entry for closed or color focused, okay. Sure. Upload completed, okay, let's close that. So what does that do? At the moment, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Maybe it'll have uh, effects down the line. I was gonna go back through the tree line and try and investigate this spot here. But it seems like this road is quite heavily elevated in comparison to the objective. So I'm going to head up like around there somewhere. Because I should have good eyes on and there's plenty of hills to use as cover here too. So we can use the terrain to our advantage. I think I see a sniper up there. Yeah, okay. So we'll draw a little cross on the map so we know exactly where he is. Oh, there's two of them, look. Now don't vault, get your binoculars out, you plonker. Yeah, there's one on either side. Alright, so we need to... mock this one too. They're both looking down the road, which means that being up here... makes me invisible to them. Just gotta make sure there's nobody patrolling behind me. Okay, I feel like this is a pretty decent vantage. There's a light over that way. Let's find out what this is. That is a patrol. Way off that way. On the back hill over there? Yep, near enough. There's the two snipers. There's someone patrolling in the front down here. There's somebody upstairs. The officer is probably directly on top of the marker, so they'll be inside. To the... So there's one, like, on the balcony. So, like, if I just draw a balcony, there's one there. This is a patrol route, so I'll just do, like, an X either side of this, so I know that there's a patrol route there. It'd be nice if we could identify the extent of the patrol route, so they're going right around the front in front of these vehicles over here. Like, around this way. Can't really see where the other one went towards that building there, though. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, so he's patrolling back around the building this way, too. So, like that. So they seem to be quite up and down here. Unless, of course, there's somebody patrolling around there I can't see for the building. I think my best course of action is going to be to take out the snipers. Somebody patrolling right down in front of me here. So I'll look around there. Yeah, we kind of risk getting spotted by these snipers. If I do anything. 
So I'm going to have to take that out first, probably the one closest to me, then the one towards the back. Just because of the direction they're facing in. Just hope that doesn't alert anyone else. Uh, that patrol goes right the way over this way. So is he turning back in? Was it the guy that went all around there? So maybe he went out of the compound all the way around back in? No, I've lost him behind the tree. But at least I know that he goes all the way up this way. Let's just move across a bit, see if I can spot him again. Okay. That guy turns around and goes... Up past the wall, maybe? Like, if that's the direction he goes, then I have a pretty decent shot taking this sniper out. I just gotta wait for everybody else to be, like, in front of him. Alright, I'm gonna get all this crap cleared off my map just so now I know where all the patrol routes are so I can see if anybody gets highlighted easier. You know, like these. And then we will get going. Oh, that guy's watching now. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Okay. Um, if that guy leaves, like, turns around the corner, I can pursue this one and get a free kill, I think. Okay, he's about to go behind cover there. So I can move up on this one a bit. Okay, he's down. He's moving past like normal, so he didn't see anything. So far, so good. He might be my next kill, to be honest. Because he's going to notice if I shoot anybody on the roof if he's still in the area, I think. So what's going on with the snipers? They're both still looking in the other direction. Okay, if I'm going to take one of them out, it should be now when that guy's way over the other side. That's one dead. Just got to wait to see if anybody noticed anything. I can see the balcony guy from here. No, nobody seems to have noticed. That's the guy patrolling around the back again. So maybe I wait for him to be near the edge of the wall there and I take him out next. Kind of worried about shooting the balcony guy just because there might be somebody inside the building that sees it. Or oh, here's as a limp, lifeless corpse hit the dirt. Okay, so he's about to stop right in front of there. Yep. And he turns around immediately, actually, so we're gonna have to wait for him to come back around. Um, oh. I saw something move. Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, did he see that? The sniper hadn't noticed. So he just turned on his weapon light and started running. So nobody else is alerted, just him. Okay, so he should return to, like, normal patrols pretty soon then. If nobody else saw anything. Just gonna have to be a lot more careful of this rod now, I guess. Just back off a bit, maybe take that hillside and make sure there's nobody else patrolling around the outside of the area. Yeah, just get across the road real quick because that's not really any cover there for me. There's a vehicle here we can hide behind too if we need to. Okay, so nobody coming down either of these rods now. Okay, good. We should be able to use this rod here to our advantage then. Gives us a decent shot of this other sniper actually. Okay, I've moved around a bit to see if there's anything else behind this building. Like anybody patrolling in the back over here. And I can't see anybody. Here we go, I think this is a position where I can see basically everybody who patrols in the area now. There is that guy there. There's another one behind the building. Who comes right out to the front. Then there's balcony guy. And... Roof sniper. In fact, which way is Balcony Boy looking? Away from me. That is really weird why they're all looking in that direction. I suppose they expected the player to just go that way first. Oh, look who's coming towards me now. Almost feels like I should take him out. Since he's very, very close. 
Even if I fire at one of the others, he's going to hear me though. Because of course, I'm equipped with a suppressor, not a silencer. Those aren't real. You can't make your gun silent. Yeah, and off he goes. But that guy down there is probably going to see him. Around the back of the building. So I might want to take him out next. But Balcony Boy and the Sniper are watching over that direction. Can't quite see the officer. So he's moving that way. If I get out of this light, can I sort of go around a bit? I just checked through all of the windows in here, and I actually couldn't see anything. So that tells me that wherever this officer is, they're either in the middle of the corridor, or on the other side of the building. So as time consuming as it's going to be, I feel like I should go around again. See if I can get a decent shot on the other windows. Yeah, I've had a few blunders around and I can't seem to get a decent shot on the windows there. Because everything just drops off at the back of here. If I could get in this building here, maybe I could see the first couple, but... I don't know, it seems like a bit of a fool's errand. Maybe it's just time to open up. Because I don't see a way I can actually take anybody out without it being seen. I'm going to give this bit here one more try. Try and, uh, crawl in past this vehicle. No? Apparently somebody saw me? Or was it just like a proximity thing now I'm inside the compound? Yeah, they, they don't actually know I'm here, do they? Apart from that guy stood up now. But he doesn't see me. Yeah, they're all looking for somebody they quite clearly can't see. I don't know if there was a way to get in here without setting that alarm off then. Okay. I'm gonna check upstairs first. This guy must have been on the balcony here for a reason, right? I think I found the reason he was up here. He doesn't even have a weapon. There you are. Let me just um, set a timer on that for you. And close the door. See you later, dickhead. Yeah, there's nobody else here. It must have just been a proximity thing then. Like the alarm set off because I was inside the compound. Okay, well that bomb should be setting off pretty soon. There we go. Alright, now we're getting out of here. So the only enemy I didn't kill was somebody up on that hill. Who doesn't seem to be moving towards us. Probably didn't even notice that bomb go off. Oh, and there was the convoy near the radio tower as well that I didn't shoot. Though I am worried that they've designated the landing zone as Alpha. Does that mean there's another landing zone I'm going to have to go to? Is our helicopter going to get shot down or something? That's a weapon light. Is it just the one guy? There's two of them. I guess they heard the explosion. Hang on, have I reloaded at all in this mission? Have I literally gone through the entire mission on one magazine? Because if that's the case, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Oh, there's the hummingbird there. So that's our extraction. Didn't expect it to have landed here already. So, are we just gonna leave? Seems a bit, I don't know, easy? Copy, 
Copy, Cobra. Report back with command after you return to base for the briefing. Great work, Cobra. Well, there we go. That was the end of the mission, I guess. I actually quite enjoyed that. Stealth fight missions are pretty fun, especially when you can actually do a stealth mechanic in them. I know a lot of like stealth attempt missions just generally end in firefights. I mean, I guess this one did because the alarm set off as soon as I got into the compound, but I don't know. Maybe there was a way I could have done it differently. Oh, well, we successfully eliminated the enemy officer and destroyed the radio tower. This will ensure safe passage for further combat echelons due to the fact that any reinforcements Blue 4 has cannot be utilized, meaning Stratus is easier to capture. No friendly fatalities occurred during the mission, congratulations. Okay, so I'm guessing this is what the alternate endings thing is. The briefing would probably change from, like, if you didn't destroy the tower, some friendlies would have died because they could call for backup or whatever. Alright, well that was it. It was a pretty decent mission. As always, they get linked in the description, so go play it for yourself. I'd be interested to see if anybody could take out that entire convoy. You know, the one that passed by the radio tower. Let's give that a go, see how that works. But yeah, thanks to Heli G for making such a good mission.